that is recording and we are off so welcome back to the channel and though we typically do CAD tutorials I am actually going to show you something that is just as if not more important and that is how to complete red lines so markups revisions whatever you want to call it uh, we are going to cover this document and it is the guide to creating submitting and completing reviewing red lines you may also call them markups so for this process we're going to need a couple of a handful of tools uh, highlighters these are the industry standard colors so you've got regular standard highlighter yellow and then we've got pink in regards to pins these are my personal favorite pin this is the zebra or zebra depending on where you're from uh, this is the f301 and it is a 0.7 millimeter but we've got green red and blue all of which will mean something different so why is this important it is important for consistency sake so one thing that you'll see me building towards with this channel is how to build CAD systems and that is for CAD coordination just for your regular workflow really it's about how to systemize your entire department and this is a critical part of that process this is a system for completing red lines and we are going to now jump right into it a red line drawing is a tool to reflect corrections or changes to be made to a drawing it's important that we are consistent in a way that we create submit and complete uh, reviewing red lines to document project history, communicate expectations, and avoid rework to be accountable for the quality of our work. So this document is going to be used um, in regards to best practices. So please review and use your best judgment when applying these practices to your project. So that means that there's obviously wiggle room whenever it comes to standards their standards and as Jocko Willings would say um, structure or discipline creates freedom it's very similar and or not very similar it's the exact same whenever it comes to CAD standards if you have rigorous standards then you have the room to be creative to find solutions for problems when they arise. This just gives your mind enough room to think about those things. Uh, very similar to Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg or other high performers, or you'll see that they have the same outfit every day or, or you know, a very um, similar wardrobe or, or the same thing that they eat every day. And that's to give their, um, their brain power towards the things that require more critical thinking. So you eliminate the, the need to choose something uh, to wear every day. And it's very similar whenever it comes to CAD processes. If you eliminate the need to think about particular things because you have a set standard, then you have the freedom to come up with creative solutions when the need arises. So this is really in regards to just that redlining process. <clears throat> so creating red lines. The first step is for the engineer or the person designated to review the projects. Oftentimes this can also be a project lead or a design coordinator. I also encourage team, uh, teams and team members to complete a self-review, in which case you practice these exact same steps whenever you're reviewing your own work so that whenever you move up to that next level, you're already familiar with the industry standard for redlining. So this creates an internal red line to be completed by the design or drafting staff. So if a client red lines a project, then review those red lines and add, delete, or modify them as needed with client consent. Very important in regards to client red lines is if there is anything that you have questions about, you've got to be able to communicate with that with the client. So the engineer or the designated person uh, will add the initials 
date and allowable hours, uh, the need by date, all of that needs to be on the cover sheet of the drawing package that you're going to be marking up. So right from the beginning, you're building in accountability, you're building in expectations, and you are documenting who has control of this project. And you also scan and save these red lines. I'll review in a moment how to uh, complete red lines using Bluebeam or a very uh, simple version of completing red lines using Bluebeam. But it's the same with physical copies or digital copies. You'll see that oftentimes with remote work, we're doing this in Bluebeam digitally now. Uh, some of us are back in the office and you'll see that those are completed manually using these tools here. So whenever you scan them in, you're going to start with, these are just standards, so you can use what your company already uses, but you'll start with a file name that's going to be a four digit uh, year. So right now it'd be 2021, uh, then your two digit month, that's going to be 11 and then 26 for the date underscore red lines or project number. Oftentimes we'll use that and then underscore the initials of the person who's uh, uh, completing the red lines. And then locate those in your designated project folder uh, under the right location. So uh, your company uh, will be different. Uh, this one is under admin. You, you have your file name uh, or your project number that's in your shared drive. And then within there you have your administration, then your document management, and then your project markups folder. Uh, but whatever that looks like for you. So now we're going to get on to the color codes again, extremely important. So we've got red. So this is an addition or a change to be made to a drawing. We've got green. This is something that needs to be deleted from a drawing. And then blue. And this is going to be for notes. So maybe a, a reference drawing. So look at drawing number dot 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 in this location uh, to uh, understand what I'm talking about with this markup. All right. <clears throat> so then we'll go through submitting red lines and your company will have its own QA, QC or quality assurance, quality control uh, standards or systems. If you don't already, I highly recommend setting those up. And then you have a QRT, which is quality review tracking. And that's part of that system, that QA, QC system, where you're gonna track uh, who completed the red lines, where they need to end up, and um, and the date all, all this happened. Uh, so, design coordinator needs to uh, review the red lines as requested. If unable to meet the hours or need by, then the design coordinator needs to communicate that to the project manager or the engineer who requested these red lines. That's, there's a lot of back and forth with red lines. Whenever you receive red lines you want to, or markups, you want to review those in detail with the engineer. And then you also want to uh, take the time to make sure that you understand all of the markups before proceeding with picking them up because there might be a note on the 10th or 50th page of a package that is relevant to the very beginning of the project. So you want to go through everything and review all markups, uh, hopefully with the engineer who marked it up before even starting to pick these up in your, your CAD software. So once you go through the red lines and you see, okay, red and green and blue, you are going to then, as you are correcting things in the CAD software, you're going to highlight over those in yellow. And then you do not highlight a red, a green, or a blue mark until it is corrected in the CAD software. Oftentimes I'll see people uh, go through and correct a lot of things 
and then highlight all of them after the fact. So complete an entire page and then highlight everything. Uh, that really just opens yourself up to the potential for human error and missing something. So as something is corrected, highlight it. And then once everything has been highlighted, again, there's a lot of back and forth. So you're going to have uh, conversations with the engineer, design coordinator, whomever, as you're picking up these red lines. Uh, but after you have a updated drawing package and an old set that was marked up and now highlighted now you're going to plot the uh, the new set of uh, of drawings into the correct file location and then print that PDF then you will have them side by side and you will have your this is how I do it you have your marked up set on your left and over there you have your now pink highlighter and then you have your clean set on your right and you have your blue pen and then as you're going I'm slightly ambidextrous through years of practice but you highlight over the yellow with your pink and then where the corrected item is on your clean set you check that with the blue pen. You go through, ensure that everything in yellow is correct on your clean set. If it's not, that's the opportunity to go back, correct it. This is a perfect review time uh, to just make sure everything is corrected and then reprint as needed. But go through that entire package again, uh, highlighting corrected items that were already highlighted in yellow over in pink and then checking off the correct items in the clean set with blue once that is completed then you're going to date initial the top of the clean set top left is what i would typically do with your blue pen um, and then bind all those together or clip them all together with one of these guys and uh, get those back over to the person who handed you the red lines for for final review so I know that's kind of an uh, in-depth process but it is extremely important to, to have a system for something like this uh, I hope you like this one and, and you'll see that I am doing more and more systems talk um, if, you, if you like the content please like and subscribe I am also still in the process of starting a new business where I uh, do consulting for CAD systems. So engineering, architecture, construction firms that have CAD departments, I will be offering audits of the systems that are currently in place and then also offer contract services for establishing the systems for you so that your team has a step-by-step -step process for completing something consistently across the board makes onboarding easier makes training easier uh, just really makes your entire department more efficient and more profitable so you'll see that content coming in the future it's it's in process now um, my name is kyle vines it's going to be called vines system uh, vinessystems.com it is already up, so if you want to check that out, none of the links are live, but it is there. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will uh, talk to you soon.